Today, we are going to learn how to enable and disable existing ERI. Visit Income Tax Department Portal. Once you are on the portal, click on Login button. You have to enter your user ID, then click on Continue. Check on Please Confirm Mark, then enter your password for the portal and click on Continue. Please remember that you might have to verify using an OTP during the login process. Once you are logged in, you will be redirected to the ITD portal. This is how the dashboard looks like. From the top menu, hover on Authorized Partner, then click on my e-return intermediary that is ERI, and it will take you to the ERI dashboard. On the ERI dashboard, you will see two tabs, one for active ERI and the other for inactive ERI. If you have an existing ERI like mine, you will see the details of that respective ERI down below. Please note that you can have only one active ERI. If you want to deactivate the existing ERI, simply click on the Deactivate button. A prompt will appear asking whether you want to deactivate it or not. Click on Confirm to deactivate. Once it's deactivated, you will see this success message. Now, if you go back to the ERI dashboard and check, you will not find any active ERI. The one we just deactivated a few seconds ago moved to the Inactive tab, as you can see.